guys i hope all of you are doing great as most of you might know i recently shifted to a new house and i've been here for a week we barely have any plants so today we're going shopping <music> come shopping for plants i always come with my list of plants because i end up buying too many of them so i have some like five indoor plants on my list that i'm definitely going to buy i see some ficus i really like ficus for the living room because also for my videos they're going to be a very good backdrop i am also thinking to buy some bamboo here but there's a space problem they're too tall okay let's see what all we can buy from here I really like these. This one I'm definitely getting because I really like them for the shade, the green and the yellows. I would like one of these palms as well. I might need to change the soil a little because it's very heavy and I know that they can do well with a mix of coco peat. I think they're just using soil here, but it looks nice. So whenever we're going plant shopping, I think one thing to keep in mind is to have a fair idea of lighting in your house. So for instance, in our house, most of the corners are well lit. I'm definitely going to buy aloe vera. One plant that I highly recommend for all of you guys is to have lemongrass. There are various uses of lemongrass. I'm going to put a link down below in the description or write it myself. So, to recognize lemongrass is by its smell and it grows very aggressively. So this is one I definitely want in my house. I think I'm going to choose a thin one. I learned that with the dabba they are more expensive. So the trick is I'm going to buy them mostly without the, the box. I mean the pot and buy the pots online. I'm going to put a link down below because there are a lot of places that sell pots for much cheaper. So because this one is for instance, she says 500 with the pot and 50 without the pot. So definitely without the pot. And I like this money plant, the you know light color one. They're very, they're not so common and they look really nice as well. Another one, by the way, syngoniums also grow very easily by propagation. So in one of my series that we're doing on beginners gardening for beginners i'm i think that video is already out in that video we're showing how you can propagate syngoniums they're very cheap and they're not very difficult to maintain this one has a bug on it Ooh. this plant is great for low light i was talking about plants that can grow in low light this is one of them Another one great for not so low light but like medium light and for my work desk. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to like reduce the number of plants because there are too many of them. But let's see. Succulents. I'm not going to buy succulents because I know in Bangalore succulents are much cheaper and I'm not even going to ask her the price because I think Bombay plants are too expensive. So, but yes, my love succulents are here and I'm completely refraining from asking how much they're for. So for now, for today, it's just going to be indoor plants, some flowering plants. So mostly for my outside area, for the balcony, we are growing vegetables and herbs. For indoors, they're indoor plants and not too many flowering plants really. For succulents, I'm going to go back to Bangalore very soon and buy my succulents from there. So I'm often asked that should we buy a plant online or should we buy from the nursery? Well, for me personally, I prefer buying plants from the nursery because I can inspect the plant. I would know if it's healthy, there's no disease, what is the size of it and all of that. Because a lot of time online that happens, they show such a big plant, but what comes out is like really small. But in some cases that happens. So. Uh, I would not say that don't buy them online because I do understand that there is a time constraint for a lot of people. You don't have enough time to go and probably you don't even have a nursery nearby. So if 
time is the only reason that is holding you back from having plants in your house go and order them right away online i will put some links down below but if you do have time and you really like going and buying plants go out to the nursery because you would also know there are so many options so yeah you can always choose last tip for the day whenever you go and buy plants always remember you have to also take them back so let's see how we managed to pack them together I think we're almost loaded. We might have to adjust the smaller ones ahead with me. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please go and hit that like button and stay tuned for more such videos. Andiga sir, aaya beech mein.